you yeah, want to say all praises and honor to your house, but show me how to shine, but show me how to dash. And Dublin has to the apostles and elders of great men's stone, shall I want to all our brothers and out there push the truth in our sincerity and in all honesty. You know, this is the brother from James Jamaica Camp. I'm Yashamai. Ashar. Shabbat. And um, you know, one of my video, I listen. And I'm um, farming, you know, because, you know, we're in time now, you know, when um, we see charge of food. No, I take it place right now, right across the world. We're going to lead up to famine, which go back to what? Bible prophecy. You know, and we've been hard warning, you know, all people over the years, you know, about this famine. This famine to come. You know, to the spirit and power, you how about Shai. You know, we live in the time now, we see this prophecy has come to pass, you know, right before we hide. Go ahead, brother. Alright, so this is from the Gleaner. It says, Noble UN, UN Food Agency warns 20, 2021 will be worse than 2020. So 2021 are going worse than 2020. You have a lot of old people say so they can't wait for 2020 done. Right. <laughs> because from 2020 started out about destruction and all the friends of a chaos and can't wait till it's done. So this is our heart class. Eh? Right? Read that again, brother. Yes, Noble UN Food Agency warns 2021 will be worse than 2020. 2021 will be worse than 2020. You have, you have this uh, meme will come out and say uh, 2020. What if 2020 is a trailer for 2021? Yeah. Right? Right? The United Nations, the head of the World Food Program, God. says the Nobel Peace Prize has given the U UN agency a spotlight and megaphone to warn world leaders that next year is going to be worse than this year. Man. And without billions of dollars, we are going to have famine of biblical proportion. Famine of what? Biblical push proportion because as I mentioned, it's all about prophecy. You see me? Famine is a part of Bible prophecy. You know, you can't be a scripture brother now, Matthew 24. This is Matthew 24. Start of verse. Verse. What? And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled. So, so yeah, going back 2000 years ago, the Lord, the house shy, you know, the man of people ignorantly called Jesus, you know, tell the disciple him, you know, all the things that will take place, you know, before he make him arrival. So, it's a way must say, someone say, they're gonna be what? Wars and rumors of wars. Go on. See that ye be not troubled. See that ye be not troubled. Go on. But all these things must come to pass, but, but all, the end is not yet. But all these things must come up to pass. Right. Because it's all about Bible prophecy. Say, half you happen. Not if, not maybe. Half you happen. Because everything was predestined by the Heavenly Father. This is how I move it. Continue, brother. As you say, the end is not yet. Can. So basically, all we must speak of in terms of this world, famine and if 2020, 2021 are going to be better. So we just say, oh, a lot of these things are going to happen. But the hand is not yet. Run, because you have more prophecies because basically have, come true. Exactly. Right? Says, for nation shall rise up against nation. For nation shall rise against nation. One. And, uh, and kingdom against kingdom. Famine. Uh, famine and pestilence and earthquake. Because this person, they shall be what? Famine and pestilence in diverse. Earthquake. And earthquake in diverse places. So all these things go back to Bible prophecy. So now we're the time now we see the famine now, you know, I come to pass, you know, right before we eyes. You know, the Lord, the house shy, you know, speak about going back 2,000 years ago. Now we see this famine that come to pass. You see, because all about prophecy. What? Verse 8 says, so all these are the beginning of sorrow. All these things that's taking place is what? The beginning of sorrows. Not the really start yet. What? Okay. David Bosley said in an interview with the Associated Press that the Norwin, Norwegian, Nobel, Norwegian, Norwegian, Norwegian Nobel Committee was looking at the work the agency does every day in conflict, disaster and refugee camps, often putting staffers' lives at risk to feed millions of hungry people, but also to send a message to the world that it is getting worse out of worse out there. Well, and say and our hardest work is yet to come. Well, because things are gonna get worse. Right. As, as the scripture say, 
all these are big enough sorrows, big enough what to come. You see, because a lot of people are going to die of famine according to Bible prophecy. You can bring up at brother. Um, second Reza, um, 16 and verse, and verse 22. It is 16 and 22, I believe. Right, so this is 2nd Ezra 16. 2nd 16, verse 22. One. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. Come, this is Many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. So a lot of people are going to die basically by famine. And famine is one of the terribly way to die. Huh? A lot of people are going to die by famine. What? And the others that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And the others that escape the hunger, all who escape the famine, shall the sword destroy. So if you die by the famine, you're going to die by the sword. You know, the gun, the machete, the knife. You know, the biological warfare, the diseases, basically. You know, you name it. You die by something different. You know, in, um, in Jeremiah 15, Lord said, I'm going to point out four kinds over you. So it is the, the dogs are tear. You can bring it up, brother. I'm going up to that. Jeremiah 15 and verse 3. Jeremiah. Jeremiah 15 and verse 3. Verse 3. One. It's, uh, and I will appoint over them four kinds, say the Lord. So it's like, Lord said, I'm going to appoint over them four kinds. Go on. Sword to slay. The sword to slay. So all who escape the fam famine, as scripture say, many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. So this is what the scripture says right now. Lord said, I'm going to appoint you. How about Shemir says, I'm going to appoint four kinds. But the sword to slay, right. like the machete, the knife, the gun, you name it, weapon, all this weaponry, they're going to use that is coming destruction. One. The dogs to tear. The dogs to tear. So even the dogs are going to tear a lot of dead bodies. You know, our, our, pe too. our live people were uh, wounded and lying on the ground. They are going to tear them flesh because they are going to hunger. They are going to have a lot of dead bodies to eat them. So the, go on. Right, you know? Say on, on the foes of heaven. On the foes of heaven. And the beasts of the herd to devour and destroy. To devour and destroy. So all these things heaven are going to use, you know, to punish, you know, our people along with this hidden nation. Especially with the so-called white man too. You know, if you are all wickedness, you know? Right? And say, oh, that, that, that the day of the Lord, because the say the day of the Lord shall be darkness and not light. Go on. So as if a man did lean him on and, and the, the wall and a serpent bit him. So you're going to be trouble after trouble, man. Go on. Everywhere you turn. You know? Go on. Exactly. Give me one more scripture. Give me um, um, 2 Corinthians 8 and verse 50. Let me brother go back to the article. 2 Corinthians 8 and verse 50. Right? Right? Read. For many great misery shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world. Because it was saying, many misery shall be done to them in the latter time. In the last days, we'll be calling right now. Because they what? Because they have walked in great pride. Because they have walked in great pride. You know? So all, all, all these proud ass people in this society, Heavenly Father are going to humble every single last one of them. You, know? you see, by heart, by the, the famine, you know, the sword. I said, brother, basically bring it out earlier. Go on. Go on, brother. It was so timely because you have been fighting to, to get above the above the trials. Basley said at last month's award, pointing the news, pointing to the news being dominated by the U.S. election and the COVID-19 pandemic and the difficulty of getting global attention focused on travesty that we have faced, that we, we are facing around the world. So you actually have um, the election and uh, the pandemic actually um, they're on the forefront where our people you know, say the famine is coming here. God, I, I know say, um, this morning I listen to the radio. I'm here at one of radio station out there that um brace for fam famine of biblical proportion. Can? On a local radio station, you know. Can? Can? And basically Jake, you, we know Jake now listen, but Jake now take it. Or them even if them hear about famine, them think it's like tomorrow you're not gonna have any food for you, but further down the line, you know, because 
Jake, Jake claims that they may not farm in. When they have the food for three days, three days. The deer farming and thing farming. Because if, if, if this is the way they face call it, the farmer's market, um, a couple, man, a couple months back, we have said, Jamaica, Jamaica basically can't hunger because Jamaica is full of food. So the people have it in the back of their mind for sure. So food can't run out here in Jamaica. You see, but they're going to learn you know, soon. You know, they're going to actually wake up to reality. You look at how people are these sleep right now. With all these things taking place, you know, and, and, them, and them basically can't say, oh, we're heading at some serious time. They might look for things to get better and better when things get worse and worse. Right? Go on, brother. Sit up. What? The second is just 8 and verse 59. Say, as far as the things aforesaid shall receive you, so thirst and pain are prepared for them, for it was not his will that men should come to naught, none, but they which be, they which be created have defiled the name of him that made them, and were unthankful unto him which prepare life for them. Because yeah. 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 say, oh, pain and thirst, man. Yeah. and for hard to eat famine are prepared for them because guess what? The Lord, as it's just who created them, they were unthankful, man, and dishonest. I would not walk in the laws and statutes. Yeah. And that's why all the things um, are come up on the earth. No, I will affect food to our people and all the Indian nation. Because our people now think from the Heavenly Father right now. Our people, our people not even remember God, yo. Right? Everything as science or this pandemic we are going now or where them hope lies to get money, to get girl, girl, to get man, to live one long life, yo. Done. Right? Nobody now try to get the, the deliverance promised by the Heavenly Father. Only elect. See, because all about the elect, yo. Only elect going to basically, you know, hear the word of Yahweh, Shemir, Shai, you know, and turn from them ways, the wicked ways and turn back to the Heavenly Father. Right. You see, because he was predestined. Can, can. That only elect going to receive his truth, yo. Right? Last verse, um, and therefore, is my judgment now at hand. Done. Alright. This is um, Ezekiel 12 verse 22. Son of man, what is this proverb that ye have, that ye have in the land of Israel? Done. Saying, the days are prolonged and every vision feel it. Done. Tell them, therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, I will make this proverb to cease and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. Gone. But say unto them, the days are at hand. And we've been seeing it over the years, yo. you know, starting from the apostles and elders and down. You'll be the one of people, you know, about the time to come, you know. About the second coming of the Lord, the house, shall go on. And, and all these things, go on. And the effects of every vision. For there shall be no more any vain vision, nor flattened divination within the house of Israel. Gone. Can't you know? For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. And right now we are with the word that Yahweh Hashemir shall come to pass right before we eyes. Right. You know, like, like the prophecy we read earlier. Right. No? The Lord Yahweh shall say, take place, you know. No? Um, they shall what? A famine. Right. I will be I will see the famine right now. You know, I, I come to pass before we eyes. Right. And even the article say it, you right. know. Right. A famine of biblical right. proportion. Right. Right. Yeah, if you're going to the scriptures, man. I don't think they don't understand what Biblical people you know, because yeah. if you go into the book of Kings, man, you know, and, and, and see how the, how the, uh, when the woman uh, has to boil him son and eat, you know what I mean? The scripture even says a man shall snatch and eat him hand. You know what I mean? See, so all of these things, when you speak of Biblical proportion, you know what I mean? He is some gruesome things in the scriptures, man. You know what I mean? But hey, two people don't even read the scriptures anymore. You know what I mean? So, so when you speak about biblical proportion, you know, you know that means it, it's going to be epic. And the scripture tells you, you know, never since there was a nation. So you can imagine back in the time of kings, when a woman had to eat her son, um, she had a child, a matter of fact. And the scripture said, never since there was a nation, right. any like, anything like this have ever happened. Because it got worse it's and what back then. Right. And this family got worse and the fam all the family took place back then. What? Right, this is Isaiah. Um, 9 verse 20 what? And he shall snatch on the right hand and be hungry So this is how, this how serious this famine will get you You are going to eat the flesh off your right hand And you are going to still be hungry and, and he shall eat on the left hand And they shall not be satisfied And you shall eat on the left hand So you are going to eat off the flesh off your right hand And turn to the left hand And eat off all of your flesh off your left hand And still not satisfied 
Go on. They shall eat every man they shall eat flesh of his own arm. They shall eat every man the flesh of his own arm. Someone will eat the flesh of them arm. So see what is famine will be called here. What the scripture say? The Lord said, we're not going to be um, ashamed in the evil times. And in the days of famine, we're going to be satisfied. You know, we hope and pray that we continue on this party, especially in this time that we've seen all these prophecies you know, coming to pass. You know, we hope to stay you know, on this part. Right? Go on. Um, this is Isaiah 65, verse 13. <laughs> Therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Go on, say, Will the servant shall eat? Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. But ye shall be thirsty. See if I say, when the Lord called, you did not hear. Right. But they did evil before him eyes. And he chose that where the Lord delighted in you. Right. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. But ye shall be ashamed. A lot of people are going to be ashamed in the time to come. So they never take heed to the word of the Heavenly Father. They're going to wish, then they listen. But they're going to be too late for a lot of people. Right? Lamentation 4 verse 9 what? They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain by with hunger Can't you say, They that be slain with the sword are better than them who are slain with hunger For so, so, so better die by the sword than die from hunger so, Because hunger, basically hunger is basically tired of a, of a terrible way to die out Of basically hunger, go on say, For these pine away, stricken true for want of fruit of the field go on. The hands of the pitiful woman Can. have sudden their own children. Who are them children? What? They were their meat in the destruction right. of the daughter of my people. And this one got worse than what happened back then, you know? This family got worse than this, I want to place back then. Right? See, the Lord had accomplished his fury, he had poured out his fierce anger, and had kindled a fire in Zion, Can. and it had devoured the foundation thereof. Five verse sixty. One. Um, and when, like when I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine, right, which shall be for their destruction. So even if I say, I send the evil arrows of famine, which shall be for your destruction. Right. One. Right. And which I will send to destroy you. Can so it's, it's all these things have to destroy a lot of people. So if I say in Isaiah um, thirty nine eleven, I believe. So the Lord said, I'm going to punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. So all these things that we're living for are going to use and punish people. Right? Go on. Right. And I will increase the famine upon you. Go on. And will break your staff of bread. Right? And verse 17 says, So will I send upon you famine and evil beasts. Go on. And they shall bereave thee and pestilence. Pestilence, like diseases. I know that Isa, he's not going to release something deadlier than this whole um, um, coronavirus thing we have basically um, I take place now. You know you have way more deadlier diseases yeah. than, them, than, them, than them lab, uh, CDC, you know, center of disease control. But I'm not going to use the time to come because people speak about pestilence. Right? Go on. Um, and I will sit upon your famine and evil beast, and they shall bereave thee, Can. and pestilence and blood shall pass through thee. Can. And I will bring the sword upon thee. I, the Lord, have spoken it. So, the Heavenly Father, I want to bring this destruction to this wicked society. So, all the ways that take place now is all in the doings of the Heavenly Father. Right. Skipper say, Shall there be evil in a city? I'm going to talk brother. Bring it out the close half of that one there. Amos um, 3 and verse, and verse 6. Bring out Amos 3 and 6. This is Amos 3 verse 6. One. Shall a trumpet be blown in a city and the people not be afraid? Is that what the scripture says? Shall a trumpet be blown in a city and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord had not done it? There shall, be, there shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it because the Heavenly Father in control of everything will go on. But the good and the evil. This is your Howard movie. As maybe basically I mentioned earlier. Lord, I will make him present in the because there is no fear in the Heavenly Father. Because when all of these things happen, you know what I mean? People, when certain things happen, people don't give the, the Heavenly Father credit, the Heavenly Man. Father and Son credit. See? So, this biblical, um, this uh, family of biblical proportion, man, where I come, the Lord orchestrated that, man, to put him fear, you know what I mean, in the earth, make him name be known. Man. Again, on the scene. Right? Exactly. 
So that means all prisons and not here over Ashmi and Shai, but Ashmi can't for that. And Dublin has to their passes. And he has a great little stone. Shall I want to all our brothers out there push his throat? In all sincerity and in all honesty, shall I want? Uh, Slack for the noise in the background, you know, doing the video and a lot of noise we're making. Slack for that, Akyam. Shall I want?